So uh, I just heard. I mean, that. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say uh, the report isn't due till tomorrow, but uh, I see you turned it in today. You've got it on my desk. Uh, it was asked for. It's a, it's a real, it's a real bonus move there, McQuinock. I appreciate the, the fact that you're uh, taking this job. Well, look, uh, since uh, the Mayan calendar has come around again and the world's going to end tomorrow, uh, I just figured, what the hell? So uh, you believe that the uh, the world's going to end, and that's why you were you were early with this report. I yeah, I just figured, just get it over with, and then go live my life. I mean, why not? The world's coming to an end. So you want to take? I got I got a lot of pot to smoke, a lot of whiskey to drink and a lot of chicks to figure out how to talk to at this point, so. Listen, I appreciate, I appreciate the honesty, McClinock. And I figure, get you your work done and then go on my way. That's a, uh, that's a baller move. Um, I, think, I could have just skipped out, but I care about the company. I could have just skipped out since your was I don't think it was gonna end tomorrow, but, but the fact that you, you do and you get this to me so quickly, I think if the world doesn't end tomorrow, Okay. It doesn't matter. Well, you know? I really didn't like working here anyway. So, I mean, it, it'll be a perfect end anyways. Wow. That's, that really puts a damper on what I was about to say. I was about to, I was about to say. Uh, Mr. Clinklock. Mr. Oh, Clinklock. Yes. Um, sure. uh, just got, just got word back from the factory. They, uh, horrible news. Uh, they said yes. that all those calendars that they gave us, uh, they had a printing malfunction and they put the wrong dates on all of them <laughs> like the world is not ending tomorrow sir we have like another 2,000 years has this memo gone out to the rest of the company oh absolutely not I wouldn't you know me better than that then Bob. keep your mouth shut and let's continue <laughs> with what we've been planning this whole time what they don't know won't hurt them I kind of think it will hurt them. I think it will like hurt them terribly. Mm, I think different. I, there's a nice bonus if we can keep it on the under. Like, uh, like what are we talking? Well, name your price. As far as they're concerned, the world's ending tomorrow, so most of them will just quit or kill themselves. So it'll leave a lot on the budget. That's a good point, boss. And that's that's why you call all the shots around here. That's why. <laughs> You are the man with the plan, and I, I'm in. I'm in. Amen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that memo. Thank you. We'll talk All later. All right, son. So I've prepared the cellar for me to live in as you've instructed. I have quite a few of experience with this, with the Great Depression. I know. I. We we talk about that often. <laughs> Um, we do. I could tell you stories about it. I used to jump on railroads when I didn't have a job. You've told me all those. You told me all those stories. The trains though. weren't running. I just jumped on the railroad. Hey, great, Papa. This is seriously. This is our last night, and this is what you want to talk about. Like, it is not a mistake. It, it's all ending tomorrow. Yes, I, I'm quite aware of that. You've you know, made I would quite lie. clear. I would never lie to you. You said, Papa, go to the cellar and never come out again for another four years. That was almost four years ago, though. That, that was. <laughs> and I broke my promise just as I always have. I, which is why I've asked you to stay in the cellar. You do yeah. less damage down there. You would be surprised at all the pipes that are down there steel there's steel pipes and a frail man like you is not going to be able to damage those and that's that's why it's the best place for you and it you know what you also can't damage me anymore wow that is truly the most heartbreaking part of this i that's the only way i know how to show care <laughs> that's ass backwards pat paul hey hey <laughs> look at you Get it together. You're a I'll strong man because I am a mean man, a very immoral man. I'm a bad man. I've come to terms with that, but I'm old. I just want to die, reincarnate. It's all because of the Great Depression. It's not your fault. That's right. That's right. 
tell me about the train tracks again. Well, that's where I met your mother. She was on a rail car and I saw her drive by and I thought she was a beautiful woman. In fact, she was the only woman I ever saw on the train track, so that added to it. As you know, she's not actually that good looking of a woman. Oh. Anyways, I chased her down across the country. On the and, same track? And she was impressed. I ran really fast back then and married me on the spot because of my great speed. So she ran as fast as you did? Yeah, she, she was on the train track and she was running inside oh. the train car. Charleston? Charleston? Charleston, are you coming back to bed? Oh, you, Maurice. The last night, you know. The last night of the four years that we were supposed to be down here, or the last year, last day of our marriage, Maurice. That's right. We have to do the thing. Oh, yes. This is the last day before you are menopause. This is the last chance we have to have another child. This is it. There's a calendar, you know. Yes. I keep quite up with it, and I mark all of our anniversaries on it, so I know how to disappoint you more, because I only know how to show care by hurting. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've been never been more disappointed in you than I am right now. Oh, oh, so I'm improving. <laughs> oh, you like it, you naughty woman. Well, I have more disappointing news. What is that, Charleston? We're going to be down here for another four years. Four more years of Four you? more years of this. Yes, of dark dampness. And I'm more... going to be honest with you right now. I hate your guts. Shortcuts. You hate shortcuts. No, I hate your guts. Oh. In yes. four more years of you, I may snap my neck and call it a day. I would be surprised if you had enough strength to snap your neck, Maurice. <laughs> the massages that you give me are like a chicken crawling on my back. You know me so well. I do. And, and I'm here to check on you. How, you. how are you doing today? Oh, I'm not well. Are you do I've had so much news. I'm mm -hmm. about ready to snap my own neck. Well, that's what we're here to talk about, all right? We're not gonna do any of the stuff, okay? We're gonna tone that down, all right? We're, we're trying to focus on having a better mindset. This last four years have been a little rough, if I'm being honest. Yes, I know, it's been rough, but I have very solid information that tomorrow it's all gonna be over. No, yes, right? Stefan, please. Imbue me with your knowledge, Stefan. I have a source inside a calendar printing factory who uh, said that they have stopped all the printing, okay? Why would they stop all the printing if not the world was ending and there would be no more need for dates, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna get to, to wipe the slate clean after this. Wipe it clean. Wipe it clean, all of that past you have. I've been wanting a clean slate for quite some time, if I'm being honest. Me too. I mean, honestly, me too. There's a lot on the slate, all right? It's piled up, all right? It's like if I had a charcuterie board and I just keep, kept stacking raw meats on it and, and never cleaned it off, all right? The slate has been piling up. And there's, there's some good cheeses, there's some good meats there, but honestly, it's getting a little high. Stefan, you are the wisest man I know, and I'm married to a scientist. Well, this is what happens when you work with meats and cheeses, all right? That age, that wisdom that comes from age comes off the cheese and onto you. That's all. That's what I've always said. That's why I yeah, wanted to be Bob, a cheese I don't, man. I don't understand half your words, but the other half make a lot of sense. Stefan. Well, I, I, Stefan. I went into the basement. <laughs> Stefan, it is I, the yes. destroyer of worlds. Have you spread my message? I've, I've spread your message, all right? I received it in the Brie, and I have spread it far and wide. I knew there was only one that would see it in the cheese, and it was you. Thank you. I carefully look for your messages every time I open a new wheel. Yes, 
years. And you've told all, all the billions and billions of people that the world will end tomorrow. Yes, yes. I, I saw it in the cheese and I, I told everyone. And of course, because I put it in the cheese, everyone took you seriously, correct? Of course, you can't forge a cheese message. It's impossible. All right, it's it's better than the Enigma machine. Yes, you can't forge cheese, Stefan. Yes. Would you like me to spare your life when I end the world? Oh, I. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of fifty-fifty. You'd be the only one there. Everyone else would be mm-hmm. gone. You'd have free reign and everything. All the cheese and meat, every charcuterie board you'd ever want, until it's spoiled. Well, that, that sounds tempting. I, I'm listening. Say the word and I'll make it so. I'll save you while I destroy everyone else. All right. I'll do it. Take me. Lights were on. I just don't see anybody. Where, where the shiz is everybody? I mean... Hey. hey, are you right. an employee here? Yeah, well, this office was empty. I took it. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be ending the world, and uh, I just needed a listen, computer. I just don't. I, listen, I don't want to hear about any any of the world. But nobody has shown up for work today, uh, except for you. So I don't care what you have to do. Just uh, we need those numbers crunched. We need to get everything done. So uh, you know, do what you're paid to do, friend. Okay. Well, I, uh, the number. Uh, the, Listen, the what's, your name? what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Destroyer of Worlds. Uh, Mr. Mr. Destroyer of Worlds, whatever you are. Oh, God, these people who change their names. Listen, friend, okay? We have deadlines to meet, all right? Yeah. Widgets aren't going to be made by themselves. So why don't you just take care of it, all right? Well, I did. I, I, I understand. I'm, I have a dead. No. No. I'm going to go in my office, all right? I got to I got to end the work. I'm going to listen, don't you say another word. I'm going to have my coffee, my 9 o'clock coffee. I'm going to read my funnies. And when I come out here, those widgets better all be made, okay? Uh, uh, well, I guess I got some reports to do. 